Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube NASAC channel, a channel focused on cybersecurity practice. In this video, I'm going to introduce Secret Server Free from Psychotic. You can Google Secret Server Free Psychotic and find out the download link. It allows you to use 10 users and manage 250 privileged accounts. It can be integrated with AD and as a perpetual license doesn't expire. It only supports RDP and party. That less should be enough for most use cases. And let's also have mobile apps. You put your username, last name, company name, phone, your company email address, and then you should be able to get your free secret server. The free license will be sent to your inbox right away. As you can see, I already received it. Let's download it six server. There's a license agreement you need to agree with on. There's an installer. And there's a connection manager. It's about 400 megabytes files for setup.exe file. And Psychotic Connection Manager, it's about uh, 93 megabytes. The downloading is very fast. Downloading has been completed. I have copied both files on the desktop of the destination machine. Machine has been joined into the domain already. To start install Psychotic Secret Server, you just need to right click, set up file, run as administrator. There are two products will be installed Secret Server and private manager. If you need more information, you can click those two links to get the more information for those two products. In this installation, I will choose both and click next to continue. To make our topology simple, I'm gonna use SQL Server Express on this server. Next. There are some prerequisites need to be met. IIS not installed. IIS required components not installed. .NET WCF activation not enabled. Also, HTTPS binding not found. So we click Fix Issues. The installation wizard going to install IIS and other dependencies, but it will take more than 20 minutes to get it done. Clean up successful, the installation also completed. Installation wizard to check the prerequisite again. HTTPS binding failed. To fix this issue, we can reboot the machine and that will make this prerequisite checking pass. Click back, back, and then we'll cancel the current installation. Restart the machine. Start the installation again. Run as administrator. Next, install SQL Server Express on its server. 
checking prerequisites again. All prerequisites checking passed. Next. Username. Email. Password. Check I understand. Next step. We can skip email server. But we do have our email server for our test environment. DC1. Twenty five. There's no authentication required. Next. Here is a summarizing the like installation options. Only thing we need to do for next step is SQL Server install SQL Express. Hopefully, it can install by itself. Next. Trying to go to internet downloading, but you can see installation failed with error code. So the solution is we need to copy the Express SQL Express file to the desktop and then it will start installation from there. So let's cancel this installation. We'll copy MS SQL Express file installation file on a desktop. Right click the installation file again. Email server test succeeded. Next. Install. So the installation file found our copied SQL Server Express X64 bit installation file. So then it's going to install it for us. We just need to wait. It's probably take another. 20 to 55 minutes. I'm going to pause the video and wait until it's finished. After almost 50 minutes installation, I got this failed message. So Privilege Manager wasn't properly installed. There are two components we're trying to install. One is Secret Server, which looks OK. We didn't get any error message. Another component is Privilege Manager. Here is all installation logs we have. It looks like it shows finished installing Privilege Manager. Installation is 100% completed. 
and finish applying. Here is the logs. We can see from starting installation around 1732 and finished around 1819. It's almost 15 minutes. It's okay. We still get this privilege manager wasn't properly installed since we don't need it. We can feel safe to close the installation. Now we're going to try to open a browser. And browse to the local host. HTTPS local host first we're gonna see is it's a self-signed certificate warning message that's okay we can accept that so is is working and we can check secret server you also can open is manager to take a look at the website This is our IIS manager. Under our server free dash ss, there's a default website. The site, default website, and there's two folder. One is called secret server, one is called TMS. So we already got the TMS installation failed message but secret server should be fine so it's still launching it's going to take a um, couple of minutes for first time to run um, you also can open the tms web page to see if it's working we got this self-signed certificate warning again but tms web page is able to open um, there's a tool link here using the default secret server to log in or using default NTLM authentication method to log in. Our secret server that we still not launched yet, we're gonna give it two minutes and then come back to see if it's launched. Finally, the login page has been launched. So we can try to log in using the admin username that sec and password we entered during installation. We can save the password for future to use. Okay, um, we logged in um, and there's a welcome page for the new user UI. We can click OK. So now we are in a psychotic secret server dashboard. Um, one thing we need to do is license. Um, we need to add a license in. That can be done from at the main menu. There's the licenses. Close. We can add and install new license here. Currently there's no license. This is coming from your email. The license name and the license key save a license will require activation since we only have this license we don't have others so we can just do a license activation activate we need to put the phone number in when we register the license it's going to be verified so activation is successful. Continue. Okay, we are going to the home page. There's a no session, session is zero, and uh, there's a no password secret in the uh, system at this moment. We also want to check out our TMS page. Um, we can log in using default secret server account. 
It's a check-in to see if the privilege manager setup need to be updated. Unfortunately, we don't have a um, support license. We can go to home to take a look. We can log into our privilege manager to take a look as well. There's a couple of steps need to follow to finish this installation. Set up a SMTP server, configure with Azure AD or continue using NTLM, install agents, and also to use this product, you need a valid license. You maybe can request for a trial license to try 30 days, but that will be different topic. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.